Hi, my name is Jason Webster. I'm Bex Hybrid Central Illinois Practical Farm Research Director. Today we are in Moody, Texas, and we're planting corn. Uh, it's the first week of March, and where we're testing out our new single row multi-hybrid corn planter. We're down here in Texas because we're trying to find some warmer weather and some dry soil so we can test this planter out, work some of the bugs out of it, and uh, so when we bring it up into April, into Illinois, into Indiana, uh, we've got the bugs worked out and we're ready to, to plant lots of acres of corn. So this is our new single, single row multi-hybrid planter. We're running a center fill planter. We can run two hybrids of corn, an offensive and a defensive corn hybrid. And we simply change these hybrids automatically on the fly as we cross through varying soil types in the field. We set up a prescription file that's got our management zones within it. And we can place our offensive hybrids on the best soils and our defensive hybrids on the tougher soils. So more to come on our multi-hybrid corn planting project down here in Texas. But this is a good look at uh, our project so far. Today, it's the first week of March, and we are down in Moody, Texas, where we are planting corn. We are planting corn as part of a research project that involves multi-hybrid corn planting. At Bex Hybrids, we've been conducting multi-hybrid corn planting research for the past two years, and this will be our full um, third year in 2014. In the past, we've been conducting multi-hybrid corn planting with a twin row transition. So what that means is we've been using, uh, in a sense, twin row planters. We've got two row units shifted eight inches apart, loaded with two separate corn hybrids, and we uh, simply turn those units off and on to make our hybrid transitions in the field. This year we're going to a new concept. We're working uh, with Kinsey Manufacturing with their 4900 uh, center fill planter, but uh, uh, it's, it's locked and loaded with, with two center fill tanks, so we can hold two hybrids, an offensive and a defensive corn hybrid. But the special thing about this particular planter is it's got two 4,000 series meters on every single row. So we've got a 16 row planter uh, set up on 30 inch rows. Now we can use our center fill commodity tanks, our two tanks, one offensive, one defensive, and send both of those hybrids to every single row on that 16 row planter. We use our meters with the electric drive to simply turn on and off the hybrid we want to plant through the field. Not only are we going to do multi-hybrid corn planting, we're going to do variable rate seeding on the fly. And all of these transitions can be done row to row. So we're pretty excited about uh, our, our new single row multi-hybrid corn planter. We're down here in Texas doing this uh, uh, planting research here in March because we're looking for warm weather, we're looking for dry soils. We certainly do not have that in Illinois um, uh, today. We've got frozen soils, we've got lots of snow and ice on the ground, so coming down here to Texas uh, gives us the ability to test this new equipment, get some of the bugs worked out of it, so that way we can ship this equipment back up to uh, Illinois and when we're ready to plant corn, uh, hopefully in the middle of April, we'll be uh, ready to go and we can get lots of acres completed quickly because uh, we're familiar with the equipment and everything's working properly. One of the big questions we always get asked at Bex Hybrids is, why in the world would a grower want to implement multi-hybrid corn planting. And I, I guess when you, when you think about um, the process of choosing a corn hybrid for, for your farm, uh, I, I think the, the task can be somewhat daunting. Some areas are very high yielding on a farm, others are not, not so high yielding. So how we look at multi-hybrid corn planting at Bex Hybrids is we want to treat the best soils on a farm with a hybrid that's appropriate. And so what do I mean by that? Is, if I've got really good productive soils on a farm, well, I don't want to settle with a defensive type hybrid because I, I feel like I might be sacrificing some yield potential. So if I know I've got really great soil on a farm, typically the highest yielding area of my farm, that's where I want to utilize a, a more offensive type corn hybrid to go out for all yield, take advantage of those good soils, right? Because that's what we all want. We all want the best soil. So I think what we need to do is we need to, to, to capture the productivity there by utilizing a, an offensive corn hybrid to go out for all yield. We can even adjust our planting populations. Maybe we increase planting populations in those good soils. And I think we treat those soils uh, appropriately. 
Now, what do we do with, with the tougher soil types or management zones in our field? Well, that's where, when I think of a defensive corn hybrid, I want, a, I want a defensive corn hybrid on the hills that can take some stress. If I put an offensive hybrid on top of the hills where I typically run out of water, my likelihood of that hybrid burning up is, is pretty high. Okay, so I, I look at it as my failure rate might be much higher in that particular situation. So why put ourselves in that situation? So why not place a more defensive hybrid, a stable workhorse type hybrid that can take some stress? And we, we, we have Bex hybrids have uh, hybrids like that. Hybrids that can be positioned just in that way. So that's how I answer the question of, you know, why should it grow or implement multi-hybrid corn planting? It just, to me, it makes sense. And, and really, I guess, it makes choosing a corn hybrid so much easier. Right now, I, I don't know with, with, if we have variable farms, I, I just don't know if we can ever get it right of choosing that perfect corn hybrid for every single acre. I think it's impossible. With multi-hybrid corn planting, I think we're gonna get pretty close, get pretty close to, 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 to putting the right hybrid on every single acre. And with that, I think yields are gonna increase. Along with that, hopefully we'll see higher profitability levels. And as we look at the price of corn right now, uh, hovering around 450 or possibly even lower. Uh, we need every last bushel we can get and we need every last dollar that we can make on the farm. So in my opinion that's the reason for multi-hybrid corn planting. This has been Jason Webster, Bex Hybrids, Central Illinois Practical Farm Research Director. Thank you for watching.